hello everyone uh, thanks for watching this video and today we are going to discuss <coughs> how to get the average of an array okay so basically we have an input array which has 1 4 5 6 7 and 20 okay so i want to get the average of an this array so basically average means sum sum of anything divided by numbers of holder okay uh, i mean generally uh, if you see here how many numbers of element is there how many tot uh, total numbers of element 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we need to divide this by 6 if you get this divide by 6 you will get the average basically average formula is this one okay so let's create one in integer array okay so integer user input equal to this one fine public static void get average okay so here we will pass the uh, so let me call this method first dot get average we need to pass this array as a argument which is input now we need to change the input parameters for this api good so let's create another local variable where we are assigning the actual value okay input now <coughs> let's have one for loop which is always helping us to scan the array now we scan so just to make sure that we are scanning right whether value is coming or not fine so first let the print this program run this program and whether you want to see the value is coming properly or not yeah <coughs> value is coming it's one four five six seven and twenty perfectly fine now as we already discussed to find the average first we need to get the sum so to get the sum int sum equal to zero i created one local variable and sum equal to sum plus this one okay so i don't need this sop since we got to know the value is coming so basically for debug purpose we kept that sop now we are just verifying whether we are getting correct sum or not let's run this program we are getting sum as a 43 that is perfectly fine and we are storing into this sum variable okay now let's create another variable called average so average probably sometimes float sometimes double i mean it will be 0 0.0 so i am taking here as a double a b e r a g e equal to 0 fine now for to find the average we got the sum and we need to have total number of element total number of element is nothing but your length so let's create another local variable and int length equal to zero for now okay now we got the sum perfect let's for first get the length that will help us to identify so for this array what is length one see it starts from zero length is how many total number of element is there so three plus three six if you print this one let's write here sum for our understanding 
and here is this is your length fine let's run this program now your length getting as a 6 that is also perfectly fine now average formula is average equal to sum divide by your length let's print the average also for debugging purpose later we will delete it since we need the clean program right click run job application average is 7 now the question is if you see 43 and divide by 6 it's it's not actually 7 it's something 1 so probably you need to put float here and here to put 0 0.0, 0. sorry okay now if you run you will get the exact pointer also why i am not getting <coughs> length also you take float run your application yeah perfectly fine now you are getting length as a 7.1 so now we got the output as a average at an average float uh, we are we are saving this value in a float type so we can easily return adding float okay so now we don't need this sop this sop also we don't need and this also we don't need okay delete this one extra space also we can delete it just to make our program simple okay now since we are returning as a float type so we can assign the return of the returning of this value in float only output average of an array is what is average output let's check this now what is value 1.6 triple 6 once again okay right click run at java application you are getting value 7.1 triple 6 so in from as per mathematics rule if you are getting uh, if you want to get the three digit after the decimal so fourth digit if greater than five then you have to add one here so it will become 7.167 so that's what is the expected output that anyhow you can manipulate through the your program okay so let me summarize this one what basically we did is we got the sum okay we got the length okay we got the sum we got the length for average we need two things sum and length only we divided each other the sum divide by length we got average average probably sometimes in decimal also so just to make sure that for that we are storing into the float and since we are dividing through the length if it is length to so the integer type you want to get the actual value so i am storing this also into the float and both are value and the output return is average and which is float type and that we are saving into the output and that here we are printing okay so thanks for watching this video